Good morning. Today we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass today is graciously underwritten by Dr. and Mrs. Jeff and Marka Spencer. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, thou weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was, so weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever. My King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King, 
and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh, on the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me. All you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. You will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. You thought you got rid of me, but here I am back, like a bad penny. No, uh, of course I am uh, starting my new assignment. However, I'm making a cameo appearance here this weekend, uh, of course, to say uh, goodbye to all of you. Um, and because we have kind of a shortage of time for our uh, TV masses, uh, that means you don't get a homily. I know everyone's sad about that. No, truly, I am very grateful for my three years here in Mansfield at St. Peter's. I've met uh, very many nice people, very many uh, ex people have extended their, their kindness over the three years, for which I'm very grateful. Uh, there's no way to thank everyone, at least not by name. Special thanks to Father Height for putting up with me uh, for all every day of the three years. Uh, special thanks goes to all the staff here. Uh, certainly to all of you as well uh, for everything uh, you've done for me over these last three years. And I uh, am grateful, even if I can't say, see you in person, to say it uh, face to face. Um, thank you. 
Um, it's a bit strange uh, saying goodbye this way, uh, but it's the best we can do. And um, we, although we can't do kind of a gathering now uh, to say goodbye, hopefully uh, in the fall or whenever the restrictions are lifted, hopefully we'll be able to get together. Uh, I could come back for our gathering. Stay tuned on that. We don't know when that might be. Obviously, we have to wait for uh, the restrictions to kind of uh, be lowered a bit. Uh, but do know that I keep you all in my prayers. I also want to give a special shout out, a thank you to uh, the men of uh, Richland Correctional and Mansfield Correctional. Uh, please know that your faith has inspired me uh, and I am grateful uh, to have gotten to know all of you these last three years. Uh, and certainly I, I'd like to thank everyone here at St. Peter's Parish uh, for their faith uh, because that certainly has been an inspiration to me as well. Uh, and I've learned a lot about what it means to be a priest uh, through my time here, which means that if in the future you see me do something you don't like, it's your fault. Well, no, that's not quite true, but don't take that personally. No, I am very grateful. Thank you very much to everyone. And I do hope uh, I have a chance to say goodbye in person uh, and know that I will uh, keep all of you in my prayers uh, and certainly know that St. Peter's has a very special place in my heart and always will. God bless you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Turning to the Lord, we lift up to him our petitions. That the Church may ever more perfectly display the truth of God's love and the gospel of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders will pursue justice, peace, and the true good of the human person, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, especially those with COVID-19, will be renewed by God's strengthening presence and redeeming love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will be welcomed by God into the fullness of life for all eternity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we lift these prayers to you, and we ask you to grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise of the Lord is for our good and all of all the church. 
May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncheli et terra, Gloria tua, O sana in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, O sana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took, <clears throat> he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Broken and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. I'm sorry, we got to stop for the second. Are you in the right key? All right, start right at the Agnus. Do you want to just start at the Agnus Day? Okay. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere no. Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis patra. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my house, but only say the word of my soul shall be. A prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. God of our fathers, whose almighty hand leads forth in beauty all the starry band of shining worlds in splendor through the skies. Songs before thy throne arise. Thy Thank you for joining us today. If you would like to make a gift to support this ministry, please visit our website at mansfieldstpeters.org. May God bless you. Have a good week.